Welcome guys, this is a short one because I'm a bit in a hurry. A friend of mine is moving out of her shared house and in dire need of some decent tools. And that's why I bought her this Reinhold Wirt <coughs> And that's why I bought her this Reinhold Wirt tool set in its limited edition with 50 pieces. And as you can see, the box is already damaged and opened because I bought it semi-used but still in mint condition to not break the bank. On the back you have the full list of ingredients of this tasty assortment of handy chocolates. So let's crack it open and have a look inside. Three arrows are showing you what to do with two labels on where to open your bag <clears throat> box and if you open it the printing is really nice and almost Vera-esque. I was really surprised on how good this case is. Look at this nicely raised print and normally you find a plastic hinge and not some hardened steel rod incorporated to hold your two halves together. On the rear you find a sticker where you can put your name on it to feel somehow exclusive. The case seems to be made out of high density polyethylene and I still don't get this arrow sticker. When even the latches have arrows embossed into them. So let me remove it. And kudos to this case for even having metal latches. Let me open it up. This foam piece is a bit worrisome. Let me demonstrate why I don't like cases with hard plastic inserts in general. Yeah, that happened. A few minutes later. Let's begin with this tape measure. It is light, compact, 3 meters long, with EC Accuracy Class 2, made in the UK and somewhat nylon coated, I guess for silky smooth operation. I am not by any means a contractor that plays yo-yo with the tape measure, but it feels smooth and decent. That was the tape measure. Let's move on with this hard to remove universal joint. Most Wirt tools are Zebra labeled. Most German tool companies sell you matte finishes, but not here. Everything is smooth and polished and chrome plated nicely. Nice one. Then we have similar finished nuts in sizes 14 down to 4 mm and a quarter inch bit holder for all the bits over here. And of course I show you a close up so you can see all the nifty little details. To use all of this they included a ratchet. It is decently finished with a nice handle that should more than suffice for use at home. I mean these are tools sold to tradesmen and not for private use. And do you hear that? I smell decent quality. Yeah, the struggle is real with these cases, but hey, at least you have everything handy when a random piece of IKEA furniture encounters. This is about the tools and I like it when you can use your quarter inch screwdriver as a decent extension for your ratchet. This is very nice, especially when you have a bit holder on top. The combinations can be endless. The plastic handle feels very grippy. 
Let me grab some screwdrivers really quick to compare it to. Here they are. This hardset one is similar in its grippiness. But I like the shape and form much better than Wirt's handle. And looking at this Vera handle, it seems that it is a blend between the two ergonomic wise. And Viha is using a much harder plastic in comparison. If I had a hammer, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, it's a hammer, has a hickory handle and 300 grams of weight and it is decently finished I guess. Well, it's a hammer, what should I say? But I like the handle as it swings nicely in my palm. <sighs> Hard plastic inserts. We have four screwdrivers, two Phillips, two standard heads. I'm not going into detail with them. They're screwdrivers, decently made, well finished with nice handles, prints that will surely will rub off without any further markings in a matte chrome finish and blue tips. I do like them. The right side is now complete, let's move to the left. Here we find an actual extension bar for the ratchet, so we can also make an even longer screwdriver. Above that sits the bit holder. It looks like a very generic one you find in one of those big box store resets. The bit holder comes off easily, and I guess it is meant to be also used inside the case. But it is very finicky. Did I mention that I don't like hard plastic inserts? Oh no, we have one of those bit holders again. Why do these exist? Why do you have to unlock it in order to put your bit in? Well, Vera does this also in their quarter inch bit holders for their ratchets. Anyway. Moving on. I guess these Allen keys are the cheapest bits in this case. They are not something I would write home about, but hey, they should be better than anything IKEA provides with their furniture. And they have ball ends, which comes in handy from time to time. On top of that is the 8 inch long adjustable spanner. It has a matte finish like typical for German tools, with laser etched engravings and the screw turns very smoothly. I'm checking if the engraved markings are accurate. And that looks like to be the case. So no guesswork is needed. Nice. I'm not a fan of this kind of tool in general, but for a home user that needs occasionally a nut tightened, it is more than enough. Whew, almost done. 
Let's have a look at these needle nose pliers, snipe nose pliers. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with all the plier terminology out there. <clears throat> I almost dropped it. But they look decent, even with their simple handles and are well finished. Well finished like these lineman pliers. All edges meet up nicely and you can't see light showing through the blades. I truly can't complain. Last but not least, I'll remove this sticker. There you go. Ooh, this sounds nice. But it is lacking a lock. The embossed logo is pretty, but it feels a bit cheap on the plastic side. At least it has storage for separate blades. It looks like it comes with two spares and they look like Tejima blades to me. At least, they are very similar in appearance. And they are nicely engraved. The blades are held nicely in the slat, but I wish they would be keyed somehow. Yeah, I guess that's it. I hope you liked this quick look at a Reinhold Wirt toolset. Wirt is known to deliver decent quality and I think they did it here as well. Some things are lacking but overall they buy in good tools from decent OEMs. But before I digress, I have a package to deliver. And to wrap it up guys, I show you some bits close up.